When I first came to Cornerstone, we had gotten connected to Sarah Day, and um, she visited with us a little bit about Home for a While, which is a 90-day transitional housing program to help families that are struggling with homelessness. And she asked if I wanted to be an ally. And so Doug and I, that was really our first introduction to Home for a While in a way that we got to be involved and learn a little bit more about the program. About five years ago at Cornerstone, one Sunday, they had what I would call is a talent fair. The emphasis was on your talents that God has given you and what can you do with those to serve. But my talent is bargain shopping and I'm really good at it. So I chose a table and went up to it and told them what my talent was and didn't think much more about it. But somehow I got hooked up with Home for a While and I started buying things, first of all, and just supplying things to furnish the apartments. And then I was asked to step up and actually set up the apartments. So that's what I've been doing for about four years. Yeah, so I got involved with uh, Home for a while when I was kind of at the church, new, starting to figure out what I wanted to do for service. And uh, uh, the Driscolls pointed me towards uh, Saturday when she was running it and said that they needed help with uh, moving furniture in. I had a truck and a job that's very flexible with hours. So I uh, kind of got involved with that and, and I took over with Patricia on setting up the apartments and coordinating furniture moves depending on uh, what size of the family's moving in. As an ally, we got to know the tenants and really um, just feel connected to some people in the Ames area and understanding some of the struggles that they had gone through. And so it really taught us how important it was to have a program like this for families um, to help those children really having a place um, to call home. Home for a while has taught me that I can love on people without ever knowing them. And it also has given me a deeper trust in God that He will provide things for home for a while. When we're short on things, somehow they just miraculously show up for me. And I think that everybody has a talent. And like mine was really unusual, but you never know. Who would have thought that bargain shopping would have been a talent that I could use to serve? I think one of the biggest things about Home for a While that I've learned is just what it means to actually walk humbly with God and trust Him. I, I like to be prepared for everything. I'm a big prepared situation person. I bring every tool I could possibly think of needing. It's always in my truck. And so taking over the furniture based on donations, it was a big stressor of are we going to have what we need? Will we have enough beds? What kind of family is going to come in? Is it six kids or less or more? And uh, you know, time and time again, every time I worry, I'm shown by God that we have nothing to worry about. Uh, this ministry's been an amazing teacher in just how to trust the Lord. And He provides everything that we need and these families need. And He loves them more than we could. And, and uh, yeah, we just get to love on people through, through this ministry.